come on! It's time to put an end to this! I made my way toward the yellow- Do we really have to do the descriptive thing? This feels like it's just padding longer than it needs to be. But with each step I took, I took, it felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me- You know, if you want to make more descriptive details, why not just make a book or something? Why make this into a video game? Just emotes! Which is kind of very hard to do so, considering how they're just using 2D stock images instead of actual cutscenes, but... Emote! Just like what Monokuma said with the emojis. It's a lot easier to do that with the fear in your eyes and the thing, whatever. Anyways, we watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. Uh, only six? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six? Soon to be five. Remain left. If that's the case, then... Next chapter, it will be four of us left. And once we figure out who the murderer is, that will be three of us left. I think I have an idea who's a... F <sighs> okay, the elevator lowered. Uttered its... Uh, the elevator lower, uttering its all too familiar clunky sounds. It fell lower and lower. And as suddenly always... The ride was over. The door opened once again. Welcome to Jurassic World. <laughs> hmm, just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few! You must be so lonely. You say that like it's all- ugh. You say that like it's not your fault where all that's left. <laughs> oh shit, oh, that's my line. Shit, oops, whatever. I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again, or... Will your school life come to an end completely? Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so- oh fuck, I'm gonna have to remember all the controls again? God damn it! Uh, remember all the fuckery that I just completely forgot the controls from the previous part? I'm afraid that might actually happen again. I'm, I apologize for this, it's- I should- I should really make a habit of playing this game more often. I'm sorry. Alright. Oh. Oh, hey, save. <laughs> Cause why not? Uh, look at all those classmates that we remembered. All dead. All of our favorite guys. Alright, okay, set skills. How many skills do I have? 17 total. I have lost in thought, which increases the time limit of each phase. Alright, that's good. Steadily use your aim a little bit, that is really good. During the non-stop debate and the hangman's gambit, perfect. Robot jockey. Increases your truth bullet of rate of fire, okay. Breathing technique. The focus gauge recovers more quickly, awesome. Increases damage to an opponent during- uh, I don't think we need that, do we? And allows you to reload twice at once, effective during bullet time. Okay. And that seems to be all there is to it. Alright. This is all just- yeah, truth bullets, we reviewed that. We're finished preparations. Let's do this. Class trial. All arise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out... Okay, yeah, we already know that. Nah, we already know who did it. Whoa! Deja vu. She is really jumping the gun here, the isn't she? The killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I never kill someone, no way! Let's review the evidence before we jump to conclusions, guys, and then we'll make our final assessment. That includes you too, Aoi, as much as you- I really like I you! I hear your stupid excuses! What we need is evidence to prove their innocence. Alright. Hina seems really sure that one of these three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. Alright. Let's go for your, uh... Testimony, Aoi! MAKE YOUR ARGUMENT! I always account! Alright, let's do this. It was one of you! Alright. One of you killed Sakura! Okay. And what reason do you have for saying- Alright, X button does that. I remember that. Because you all had a motive! Triangle does that. You hated her! Okay. Is that it? 
That doesn't make any sense. I mean... That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get! Alright, it seems pretty obvious to what it is. Some concrete reason as to... as why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she mentioned it before. Obviously because of the three uh, notes that she did. Wait, what's the fast forward button again? No, that's the slow button button. Oh fuck, what's the fast forward button, forward button again? It's not that. I D button does that. Circles that, okay. Oh shit, no! Damn it! Okay. That's not the only reason, but we at least have something to go on. And it's always a cat, right? Yeah, so... There we go. Got it. GOT IT! TAKE THAT! Uh, I just feel like playing Phoenix right all over again whenever I play this game. Suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. I can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Then, does that mean one of them did it? Oh, let me just take a, a sip of this mango juice and we could think ourselves. Pocket trash! Oh, this is very easy. So, this is accusing Hero then. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them, there's no way that's not suspicious. Okay. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. Okay. I didn't either. Okay. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Alright, pocket trash, that's very easy. There's no way none of you went. Alright. At least one of you is lying. And we know one of them at least. There's a clear contradiction in something one of them just said now. If they didn't go see Sakura, then how can they explain it? Alright. Hopefully I could steadily my aim. Oops! No, 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 no! Oops! Wrong button! Oops! Alright, there we go. Take that, hero! Hero, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... It's just a pair of panties! Ever since we got into the warehouse, oh. I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. Unless, you know, Hero could be like a really sneaky thief and stole one of them or something. no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... Well, I mean... Yeah, sure I got it from her, but... But she gave it to me forever ago! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her! If that's the case, why do you have it in your pocket right now? Or when we... During the trial, or during the investigation? The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so... I must have got it... Some time before then! But what Hiro said can't be right, because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. And the reason I know that is, when Sakura got that candy, Hiro got the candy from Hina. Sakura loved candy too much to share? Oh fuck, what was the, uh, what button again was it? Square? Triangle? I can't look at evidence, so... I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna have to risk a heart here. When Sakura got the candy seems to be the most logical explanation. Hiro got the candy from Hina, well Hina's already bragging about it, so that can't be it. Sakura loved candy too much? I doubt that. She's into protein, not candy, so I got it has to be that. I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy until after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean... What I meant was, uh... Oh, we got a suspect here. Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? And you denied that before, why? Why the sudden hostility? Well, we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! So you gotta have some proof, buddy! I can't believe you unless... Exactly! You were 
looking incredibly suspicious. What? It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit. I even have proof. Wait a minute. How did you know? Wait, I'm not jumping to conclusions, but are you saying something about the fingernails and the Toko words? I mean, the Toko's name on the magazines. Why would he know that? He was in the room the entire time. Huh? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. How would you know that, Yasuhiro? That, okay. He has to be it. Th that guy has to be the killer by now. At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. Yeah, but she could easily be framed. That's the problem. As much as I want Toko to do and to have her killed and executed, that's could that honestly that could you're the one that's acting really suspicious right now. Way, I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Exactly. This is what I'm going telling you guys. Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But no one knew about it, and if that's the case, then why didn't you tell it to everyone, since we're all in this investigation together? If you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. That too! You're just making it more suspicious on yourself, so dude. to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Huh? Hold on. But when Kyoko found the magazine in the dying message, it was, a, it was upside down, wasn't it? Uh, what? Above the magazine shelf? On the magazine shelf? Under the magazine shelf? No, it was on the magazine shelf, wasn't it? I got it. I don't know why they give the explanation. It wouldn't make sense if it was like upside down, right side up, or sideways or something like that, wasn't it? Anyways, Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? D doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! It makes too much sense, that's the problem, dude. There's definitely something strange about it. He knew about that information before the trial started. So, Kyoko found the dying message during the investigation, in which case, that clearly contradicts what Hiro told us. Okay. Alright, how many evidences are we gonna be piling up? Magazine's dying message, alright. How's this scene gonna play out? I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. Oh shit, oops. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. Okay. When I pulled it out. I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard to t pinpoint. He said he saw the dying message when he first found the body. But at that time, where was the magazine? It was on the shelf, wasn't it? I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Alright, that's one point. And I can tell you when I found the body was discovered. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. Okay. I pulled it out. I saw her final words. What's your problem? Alright, so the easy path was just to say that Hero's lying and say that I can tell you put the truth bullet there. That's not the right answer, apparently. Okay. So right here, Kyoko is the one that's apparently being misinformed right now. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Wait, no, wrong button. Shit, oops. It's square. God damn it. Okay. All right, dying message. Where does that say exactly? Examination summary. No, no, that's not it. Dying message. On the magazine shelf, one magazine, one magazine had been put back upside down. Inside this magazine, Toko's name had been written in blood. It seemed to be whoever wrote it did the thing with so. So it was upside down. Okay. I can tell you when I found the dying message. 
It was only after the investigation had begun. It was only after the investigation had begun. Okay. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. All right. So that only. Well, that solves our question. That there's only one answer left. Unless, wait a minute. Oh fuck! I keep forgetting about the triangle thing. I can tell you. Exactly Maybe the dying message had nothing to do with anything. Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you Shit. I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. That can't be it. I found it. It's your problem. I said it makes total sense. I think I have an idea. Exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was destroyed. There we go. And I can tell you when I found the dying message, it was only I keep forgetting I had other abilities as well. I gotta really make I note of that. Wait, what? He said it was next to the ogre's body, but that contradicts what's yours. Wait, oh no, it's the other way around. Fuck. God damn it. I keep mixing all this up. No, I'm supposed to say that the other way around, not... Okay, so... I'm not supposed to go this thing. I'm supposed to go the other thing, and then contradict it with that thing. Ugh. Alright, there we go. There we go, okay. That makes sense. There's a... Yeah, that's a lot better. Unless I fuck something up again. Fuck! Mm. There we go. Jesus, fuck. Alright, two hearts left. I gotta make myself count real quickly. Alright. I still say that a bull should have been pointing out inconsistencies rather than... Well, I guess being more specific is to say who exactly is wrong, so... Eh, whatever. When Sakura's body was found, the magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. Which is far away from her body, so... After we begun the investigation, and you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, hero. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? Because you might be framing someone. All Just saying. Was read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Exactly. That that seems very obvious, isn't it, guys? Does it really take you this long to figure out this could be framing people? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Uh, is this uh, Hangman, or is this... No, this is... Okay. More rhythm stuff. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. Oh, how do I reload again? Wait, 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 wait. What's the reload button? Fuck, fuck, okay. Uh, square, got it, okay. The occult is bullcrap. The end right. is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. Okay. The occult is bull. Whatever you say, dude. Temple down. The end is nigh. I'm at least 30% right. There we go. Final strike. Take that. This should prove it. Why does this mode even exist, honestly? I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. Oh, I was kind of thinking that she wrote with her, her finger as well, but that's also another possibility. What? Then, who did write it? Who else? But who's looking? We're looking. Himself. Yeah, trying to frame Toko and all that shit. He knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> Yasuhiro, you are really bad at covering up your tracks. You know that? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So you admit it? Ah, he admits it. I figured as much. But 
Why would you write something like that? Because... Because I killed her! You're admitting to killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry, but do you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet here as well. Uh, okay. Would you like the piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Oh, sure, thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. She was going to kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Of course... Went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and... I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! This is coming from the person who actively murders other people. <laughs> At least he kind of has a motive and kind of going for it for self-defense, even if it's not probably not actually. I mean, maybe he thinks it's self-defense, but maybe what she muttered wasn't actually going to be her murdering rampage or whatever. Because if that was the case, why invite two other people as well? It'll make her even more suspicious that you murdered more than one person. So this is, again, this is kind of going through what my idea was that this could pretty much be suicide. Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. Now again, guys, we're not done yet. We still have something that's unexplained. We have to figure out what's with the poison and why the bottle was, again... You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. Or at least, he tried to attempt to kill her. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. Guys? No, I think there's more to Hero's story. Okay, good, Kyoko. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. Exactly. Until we figured that part out, we can't consider the case closed. Like, again, guys. Seriously, I, I don't know how old these kids are. They're, they're high school, probably. But even as a high schooler myself, Probably because I've been watching a lot, playing a lot of Phoenix Wright. I should pretty much be obvious that this is fucking poison. So, what is it that Hero did not did that doesn't make sense? What he would have had to do after writing the message, it doesn't make any sense. Why he picked Toko? Why he didn't use Sakura's fingers? Why the magazine was hidden? That actually does make sense. I got it! If, if he's trying to That's frame true. someone, why does he want it to be hidden, said. exactly? It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? It could be because Sakura was still conscious, even after the head blow. Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh... I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would Yeah, he already confessed to the crime, so... He's not lying? There's something else going on, guys. Maybe, even though Hiro tried to attempt killing Sakura, he didn't do it successfully. Assuming he's telling the truth, Someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? It could be multiple. It could be Toko because she discovered she while she was inside the rec room trying to hide her thing. She, no, then again. Uh, 
Or it could be Byakuya fucking with us again. Then again, it could be Sakura still being con- being conscious. If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who wouldn't like what had been written on it. Well, it's obvious Toko. It's obviously Toko, right? It's her name on the fucking paper! Toko, right? I mean, what? Wait. Unless, no, no, no. I mean, here I confess to the crime, but who at the same time. Who else want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the record? Why would I have... Wait! But more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? We're still missing the point about the poison. <laughs> Just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Oh, blast you! Don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. Even though he tried to kill her. Are you serious? That's just... I don't believe it! We need to discover every single point before we solve this case completely. Tell us what happened one more time. Alright, I guess we're gonna figure that out after the break. It's been 26 minutes, holy crap. So, be right back.